Hello there, my name is Janet and I want to welcome you to the Almost Homestead. Today we are going to be making one of my favorite meals that I've made since my husband has been doing keto. So for this recipe you're going to need a few things. For the rice portion we're using rice cauliflower but it's not good on its own. We have to fix it. We're going to use some butter real butter, not margarine, and some heavy cream. And then we're gonna need some spices. To make the pork chops extra good, we're also going to need a few things. Clearly, we're gonna need pork chops. We're also going to need some salt and Philadelphia cream cheese or store brand. It's totally fine either way because of the way we're gonna cook it. And some heavy whipping cream. And again, we're going to need spices. But I'm going to tell you two ways to make this. So the spices you need will depend on which one you make. Today we are making one that is a curry. So we're going to need, of course, curry powder, always garlic uh, powder, onion powder, probably going to use some turmeric in the rice, and maybe some coriander just for funsies. I think that's all we're going to need, but you never know. Alternatively, you can make it with a Dijon sauce and then you are going to add some Dijon mustard to your taste. Um, I usually, when I do that, I also use the garlic powder, the onion powder, and often I will put in a bay leaf as I cook it. It depends on which one you want to do, what spices you will use. But I think we're ready to go. So grab your apron and let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is, ooh, there we go, is we are going to put about two tablespoons-ish of butter in the skillet. Turn the burner on to a low heat. If I had decided to do this earlier, I would put fresh garlic in uh, once the butter was melted, but I didn't think of that today. So instead we're going to season the meat with some different powders. While that melts, we are going to uh, I'm put it in between the in between the pans. We are going to season it with season these with garlic powder. Now I don't measure anything ever, basically. So kind of guessing on the amounts. Um, I'm going to put some curry powder on. And we're going to put some minced onion in. We're going to put some minced onion in the skillet when it's hotter. Um, well, I was going to put some pepper on it, but I'm not sure where my pepper is. Okay, found the pepper. Just going to grate some pepper on top of that. Some salt. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the pork chops in there. These are thick cut. Um, you can also do it with thin cut. Usually that's what I do, but when I bought these, honestly, um, I didn't look that close and I thought they were the thinner uh, slices. So we're going to let those cook for about three minutes-ish until they are browned on the bottom. All right, it's been three minutes. Let me scoot that down a little. Ooh. And they are <laughs> nice and brown. It, this is not angled in a way that makes it easy for you to see them. Um, sorry, there's only so much room in my kitchen and this tripod is just not that tall. So this is the best we can do at the moment, but you can see them. So we're going to cook them about three minutes on this side. We're going to check these now that it's been three minutes. Yeah, we're going to 
let those go a little longer. That's not as browned as browned as I would like them. Oh, especially that one. And there we go. I'm actually gonna do yeah. I'm gonna do another two and a half minutes, I think. See if I can get those a little more browned. So done or not, we're picking these up, putting them into a bowl for now while we start the sauce. Now we're gonna turn that down just a little bit. We're gonna toss in our heavy cream. Now we're gonna put that in. How much you put in depends very much on how much sauce you want for your food. I am obsessed with sauce. I want a lot. And then we're gonna put in some cream cheese. I'm gonna put in about half a bar. And then we're gonna put in some more of the curry powder. an itty bitty bit of the cardamom. Itty bitty bit of pepper. Some salt. Some minced onion. That was probably more than I meant to put in there, but it'll be fine. Did I already put in garlic powder? Yeah, I'll put in a little. I'll taste it when it's a little closer to done and see if it needs more. And then we're going to turn on our heat to low. And once this is uh, a little farther in the process, we will use the whisk to break the cream cheese into pieces. Let me try it now. They just... Uh, stick into the end of the whisk but eventually better things will happen we're going to use this plastic bag as a spoon rest for the moment and we're going to start on our cauliflower rice we're going to put in about two tablespoons of butter ish i didn't measure sorry that may actually be three tablespoons anyway Okay, so we're gonna turn the heat on, let that start to melt. There we go. Hopefully you didn't see a bunch of my scalp right there. And we're gonna continue trying occasionally to stir the, the sauce over here. Okay, and now we're going to add in the riced cauliflower. The butter was not all the way melted, and that's totally okay uh, because it's going to melt as we stir it around, which we'll do several times towards the beginning. Now, you're going to set your timer for 10 minutes once you get it, once you get things stirred around a little bit. You're going to set your timer for 10 minutes, and then you're going to come back here. You're going to, oh, let me turn you a little. You're going to go ahead and whip your sauce a little more. You want to make sure it is all the way mixed up before you continue to the next step. Now, normal people would not do this, but I am not normal, so I'm going to add in some dried mushrooms because I love mushrooms and everything curry. So we're going to toss in my dehydrated mushrooms, stir it around again. Looks like all the flavors have incorporated nicely. So we're going to put the pork chops back in.
and we'll put in the juices that came out. It was kind of annoying because I seared them to try and not have the juices come out, but as you can see, the sauce is really hot. We're going to turn the heat down just a little, and then we're going to cover this. Now, I don't have a fancy lid for this, so we use a cookie sheet at an odd angle. All right, and then we're going to stir up our cauliflower. I think it needs to be at a little higher heat. I don't usually make the cauliflower in this particular skillet. I usually make it in the one that I'm making the pork chops in today. But you're going to, you're going to let the uh, pork chops and stuff simmer. One second, please. And you're going to let this cook, stirring occasionally, for 10 minutes. It's been about five minutes. We're gonna stir this again. I just thought you might wanna see what it looks like. I always think at this point that I don't have it up high enough and it's not gonna get done, but you just gotta trust the process. And then we're also going to stir this a little. Now, this isn't the ideal way to do it because I'm lifting it with my hands. But desperate times, desperate, desperate measures. Just gonna kind of stir things around in there. Make sure that the mushrooms and the pork chops are all nice and under the, under the cream. And we're gonna come back in another five minutes. All right, so it has been a lovely five minutes. We're going to turn off the heat to the pork chops. Oops. Give them one final little stir. Just easier said than done with uh, my little fake lid. And we're going to leave that on for uh, another five minutes so that the heat can, can just course through everything. Now, you know that we're ready for the next step with the cauliflower rice when it's starting to almost brown before you stir it. So that... The texture changes, I don't know if you can see it, but the texture kind of changes. They're a little drier on the bottom each time you stir. And so right about the 10 minute mark, this always happens. And so we're gonna put in a little more of the whipping cream. Now, Sometimes, instead of whipping cream, uh, by the way, this is about two tablespoons, you can put cream with the whipping cream if you felt the need. But sometimes, instead of that, I put in salsa, and I make kind of like a Spanish rice, um, kind, of a, kind of a dish with rice and hamburger and salsa. But today, we're going to do turmeric. So... The main complaint that I hear people say about cauliflower rice is that it tastes like cauliflower. <laughs> so what we're going to try and do is take away a little, a little less of the intensity of the cauliflower flavor by adding other types of seasoning. So we're going to put in a little curry, not as much as in other things, but that's really good. If I were making the Spanish rice, Spanish rice. I would do uh, some Cajun seasoning, probably some Slap Your Mama, so that, again, we're getting rid of some of the taste of the cauliflower, and we are giving it something else instead. So now we're going to add a little salt. Stir it again. And then we're going to let it let it go for another two or three minutes just to make sure the cauliflower is totally done. If it's not done enough, that's icky. All total, it should cook about 15 minutes by the time we're done. 
So I let this cook for one minute and it's already starting to stick on the bottom. And so that's the point at which I always crack and say it's good. So now we're gonna get our plates. Gonna put some of our rice down. We'll grab one of our pork chops. Now this didn't get as thick as I thought it would, which is odd. Um, but then we're gonna spoon some of the sauce on top. And we have a, <laughs> if I can get the camera to show it, we have a super delicious pork chop on a bed of cauliflower rice with turmeric. Now, that was not the perfect way to cook the pork chops. If I had more time, I would have taken the pork chops, um, made the sauce, put the sauce and the pork chops inside of a casserole dish, covered it, put it in the oven at about or 275 or 300, and let it bake for about 45 minutes. And then the pork chops would have just fallen off. Uh, they would have just, they would have been so soft and so moist and perfect. But I didn't have that kind of time today. So unfortunately, you got them this way. Definitely, if you have time, do it the method with the oven. Much better. Now you know how to make the cauliflower rice and the pork chops with the curry sauce. Um, so if you try it, let me know how it goes. Again, definitely do the oven, oven method. Um, and if you have any other ways that you can think of to make cauliflower rice less nasty, please tell me in the comments. Um, I know that other people have that question too. So I'm sure if you have ideas, people will want to know them. And as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and as always, eat something wild. Maybe some turmeric. Hello, and welcome to the Almost Homesteading. And today I'm gonna teach you one of my husband's formats. We're gonna start by cooking some pork, ch pork chops. Pork chops? Pork chops. We're gonna start by, wow, 